when I reflect and I think back, you know, you're 11. I don't even know if I knew what the word cancer meant. I always just love saying, my name is Tessa and I am a cancer survivor. So when I was 11, uh, I got diagnosed with cancer and ultimately they gave me a few choices, but the best one was to for sure get my leg amputated. That was in 2000 and by 2001 of January, I was finally in remission and it is now going on about 21 years almost that I'm cancer free. So that's super exciting. I started just having pain, like just mild pain and stiffness in my in my leg. In the course of a couple of months, it went from mild pain to the point where I would wake up in the morning and my leg would be so kind of just stiff that I would literally just cry. So that was the, the point where my mom was kind of like, okay, something's not right. And she took me to the, our primary doctor and I was actually misdiagnosed. They told my mom, don't worry about it, it's growing pain. So my mom didn't think anything of it. When it got to the point where I literally was in tears from the pain, it was kind of just like, this is not normal. So they then scheduled me for an MRI. They for sure saw the tumor through the MRI. It was bone cancer on my femur. And it was then and there that they actually told me what it was and the diagnosis. When I reflect and I think back, you know, you're 11. I don't even know if I knew what the word cancer meant. All I knew was that it was not good. And I remember just seeing the faces of my parents and the doctor and just the tonality and the concern and, and the way they were explaining it to me. And that was enough to just scare me. They went through all of the different potential things that they can do. Do we remove it and try to salvage her leg? Do we do a rotation proxy? Do we do an amputation? I knew the second that I walked out of that meeting, I looked at my mom and I said, I want to get that done. Three months after I started chemotherapy was when I had the amputation. Coming out of the surgery, I remember the first thing I personally did was I looked down, but I just remember looking and seeing, you know, one foot and not the other. So that's kind of what I wanted to see. around 27 or 28 years old, I kind of said to myself, I think I'm gonna start posting stuff more on Instagram about that, you know, and just trying to see what happens. And literally within a couple of weeks, I had somebody reach out to me about doing a fashion show, but they wanted to showcase different bodies and, and different girls. And it just took off and went viral. And I went from like 600 followers overnight to like 25,000. That was kind of just like the start of it. And my first ever technical gig was modeling for Tommy Hilfiger Adaptive. It just keeps snowballing. Like I was picked to walk in New York Fashion Week. So that was such an experience. And that was like, for me, that was like the cherry on top. I try really, really hard to not let it hold me back you know obviously there's just gonna be some things that I just can't do and, and that's it and that's fine instead of just trying to just be like I can't do that you try to just look for other ways to to make it happen you know you just have to to just adjust and adapt and that's really what it's all about